Hi friends, this is Andy, your tech guide from Tech Store, and in this video, we're going to be showing you the latest Acer Aspire E1 510 series of laptops. Now we've opened things up for you. Let us start with the battery first here. The battery, as you can see here, is a four-cell lithium-ion battery, and uh, the power ratings, as it reads very minutely over here, are 14.5 uh, volts and uh, 2500 mAh, 37 watt hours in total. So, with the ultra low voltage processor, this should give you in excess of 3 3.5 hour battery. Now, this particular uh, adapter is for a model which has got a Pentium quad core uh, processor to it. So, the models that have Core i5 and Core i3 will have bigger adapter. So, this basically uh, has a 19 volt 2.1 ampere power rating and uh, it's got I think 40 watts uh, wattage rating here on this. And this is the way the connector looks like, very much like a netbook adapter. You have the power cable along with it and then you have the warranty details and you have the driver CD that comes along with. Uh, this is the way it looks on the top panel and uh, it is no different from the 570, 571 and the 572 Acer Aspire E1 series of laptops. As you can see jet black, matte finish, very elegant looking uh, top panel actually. The whole laptop has the same color, there is no difference uh, whatsoever in the inner and the outer panels. Let me show you the tilt angles first. The tilt angles are amazing as you can see. This is the tilt angle, as you can see it's very slim, slimmer than uh, most predecessors of the Acer Aspire series, very very slim laptop and the viewing angle is I, I, I suppose it's more than 145 degrees, 160 towards 160 degrees actually. This is the way the laptop looks once opened up. As you can see, and uh, this is the keyboard layout. No difference whatsoever than the E51 570 series. Full size chiclet keyboard. The model that we are reviewing today has a Pentium quad core, 2 GB RAM, 500 GB hard drive. But uh, in my reviews, I generally show the look and feel of the series as such. So this is the E1 510 series for you, 510 for you. The touchpad here has got a textured finish. It's got uh, this rough little finish, which might hurt uh, when you're using. So that's the M quad core symbol. The power button is over here. The hinges uh, are pretty neatly placed, but only time will say how uh, the hinges fare. But you observe the boot times were really fast on this particular laptop. This is the screen quality over here. Now this is the way the camera looks like. As you can see, very good quality for an under 25,000 rupees laptop here in India. There is no lag whatsoever, uh, no wavy effects, very nice, the camera is very good. Low light uh, might be a little difficult but uh, normal lighting the laptop is very good on the web camera. This is the screen quality here, uh, as you can see 1368 into 760 is the max resolution that the screen supports, it's the HD LED and it's got a glare HD screen so you can see yourself in the reflection around me and let me showcase the speaker quality for you here. As you can see, it's very flat. It's all full volume here. Uh, output is real flat. The speaker basically is getting output from the speakers which are based over here and another one over here. It's not all that great, not very good on the speakers, but web camera quality is very good. This is the way it looks on the left side as you can see, uh, very slim and good form factor, good amount of heat dissipation area left here, good amount of heat gets generated uh, out of these vents, consenting lock over here, VGA, Ethernet port, 
HDMI, USB 3.0, it has a headphone and mic combi jack over here. So this is the way it looks on the left. Let me show the front panel. We have a memory card reader. You have four indicators. One is the power, battery, uh, you have hard drive and Wi-Fi. These are the four indicators that are there over here. No other buttons whatsoever. On the right, uh, you have two more USB ports, DVD drive, DVD writer to be precise, and a charging port connector. Over here, you have uh, absolutely nothing. So, the base also is uh, very clutter free. Um, a lot of screws around, as you can see over here. I have made this entire thing a little more plain. Uh, rudders are also very flat, actually. There is no differential in the size here. So this is my friends, uh, was a review of the Acer E1510, the Pentium quad core version. All the 510s will look the same and there will not be any difference uh, but for the configuration. So you can buy the laptop if you like the looks and feel and the IO ports that it has got on our website techstore.co.in. Do not forget to subscribe to us and do let us know of your suggestions and comments. Thank you so much.